Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Big week for a lot of Navy athletic teams, most notably football and rugby, because they're going to go across the pond, participate against Notre Dame coming up this week. Pleased to be joined by Jack Alamon of the Navy men's rugby team. And you know, Jack, let's let's start with your journey because it's so unique. You know, obviously an enlisted serviceman uh, at, at one point, but I'm assuming the the want to and get to the Naval Academy uh, was certainly part of, you know, a, a drive that you had and, and you didn't give up on that goal. And now uh, you are certainly thriving uh, a, as a member of the Naval Academy. Tell me about your journey a little bit. Well, first off, thanks for having me, Pete. Um, yeah, so I was enlisted for about three years in the Navy. Uh, I, I deployed with an aircraft carrier, the John C. Stennis. Um, I actually wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do. While we were on that deployment, I had an officer approach me and asked if I'd ever considered applying to the Naval Academy. Um, he thought I'd be a good candidate, and I said, well, sir, no, I haven't. Um, but I looked into it a little bit and thought that was something I could do. So uh, I applied there. I was accepted, uh, got to NAPS, and it was actually at NAPS that I got my first introduction to rugby. Some of the guys on the team uh, who were coming on to the academy team to play um, just talked to some of the NAPSers there and said, hey, you ever heard about the sport? We're trying to do something here with a little club. Uh, I think we only had one or two practices there, but it was enough to pique the interest. Uh, so when we got to the academy, I knew it was something I, I wanted to try to do and came tried out plebe here, made it, and, and things have worked out pretty well. Obviously, you know, like some, you do have football, obviously, uh, in your background. But that making the transition to rugby and make, you know, obviously rugby is a game with all of the same details, you know, for its sport as every other sport is. You know, how long did it take you to grasp the sport and all those little nuances that, as you've now realized, being on a national championship team can be the difference between victory and defeat? I think I'm still learning every day. Uh, something that makes it easy is uh, just how much the guys on the team all care. So uh, we were all most of us were pretty new to the sport. There are a few guys who had played before, um, but it's just a big part of our, our friendship now is we sit down and we watch uh, rugby games. Every time we go out, we're talking about it. So uh, it helps when you're kind of invested in it 24 seven and you're, you're constantly learning, constantly watching. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning stuff about the game. It's, it's definitely nuanced, but uh, yeah, I think just immersing yourself in it right off the bat helps a lot with that. This program has so much pride in it. It's got so much longevity at, at the Academy, obviously from a club program now uh, to being a varsity program to be chosen to be a captain of that team, uh, what does that honor mean? Uh, everything. Uh, I mean, I'm still kind of in awe that that I was I was picked to help lead the team. Um, but it, you don't spend too much time thinking about that. You know, there's there's work to be done. Obviously, after last season, uh, huge shoes to fill. So uh, really, it's all it's all focused on the job. And I just want to do right by the guys, by the coaches. We have an incredible team, incredible staff. So it makes it easy to come in every day and uh, focus on what you need to do, just given the environment that we have with the team. You guys set the bar incredibly high. You can't you can't go much higher than you set the bar last year. But how do you compartmentalize, move that into its proper place and now focus on uh, the season now that lies ahead for this team? Yeah. So that's the huge challenges here, right, is uh, – Obviously, we did some stuff right last year, and we want to take lessons we learned from that. But um, for all intents and purposes, this is a team that hasn't won any games before. Uh, we lost some very good players. We're untested as of right now. Uh, so that's that's been a big discussion we've had um, with the coaches, with the captains, and with the team as a whole, is we don't want to dwell on the past. We want to take all the good out of that, but we want to recognize that this is a brand new team. And uh, come Friday, Friday at 1600, we're going to start finding our identity, you know, we're, we're zero and zero right now. Nothing that happened in the past matters. What does it mean to be included in this journey this particular week? Uh, obviously football going to play Notre Dame. Uh, we know how high of a marquee football game that is nationally uh, each and every year, but for you and obviously Notre Dame drug beat team to be included in this journey. Um, you know, what, what does that mean to you and your teammates that, you know, Hey, you guys get to go have your, your say and your part uh, of this journey as well. Yeah, it's it's a huge honor, and it provides a lot of validity to the program that we're included in a trip like this, uh, that we're being advertised to all the midshipmen going, 
saying, hey, rugby's playing this day, football's playing this day, make sure you can make it out to either game. Um, yeah, it's, it's huge for the program. All the guys are pumped. And, yeah. The fact that you ended up going the route that you did, you're having academic success as well. It's been the key for you to manage all of this and and truly be not just the student athlete at the academy, but really one that is excelling um, at a path, as, as you admitted, you know, you weren't quite sure what the path was uh, at, at one time. I honestly think just having a few years off, um, if I had gone straight to college and I probably couldn't even have gotten into the academy straight out of high school uh, without the prior service, uh, just having a few years off to, uh, I guess, just be a professional and a job. And, you know, uh, that's the way I kind of approach my whole life now. Uh, I try to be organized. You're pu more punctual. Uh, you care more about everything just because you need to. You know, it's your life. You got to take care of things. So I think that's probably the biggest part of it is just having a few years to really decide what's important to me. You know, you, you, yeah, you, you've seen what the other side looks like a little bit as you formulate now, obviously, uh, career plans, you know, post-graduation. I mean, do you, do you have a better idea of what that looks like for you now, having seen that other side, or is there still part of the journey that you're eager to explore and, and, and see what else is out there? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm super excited. I want to fly in the Navy. We'll find out in November uh, what our, what our uh, jobs are going to be. But there's a ton of stuff that I don't know. Uh, but obviously, I have the advantage of a few years of kind of being immersed in the Navy and seeing how things work. And a lot of that is kind of tacit knowledge, um, just stuff that you've you've soaked in from being around it. Um, but I'm, it's definitely, I'm not going back in jaded, thinking I've seen everything. Um, there's, there's a ton to learn and I'm very excited for the journey. It, it's been, it's been pretty cool. I mean, uh, there, there are a lot of people that w would not try to do what you've done. Who've been some of your inspirations growing up and, and obviously uh, as you headed into adulthood here that have, that have helped you, you know, uh, be on what's turned out to be a, a really incredible path. Yeah. Um, in the Navy, several people that I worked with, um, within my department, chief, senior chiefs, uh, an officer, Commander Desby Bowens, uh, he's the one who actually approached me and talked to me about the academy and has kind of helped me through the whole process. So I've been extremely fortunate with the people that I've been surrounded by, um, who've supported me every step of the way, constantly reach out, pushed me, uh, and even here at the academy and the coaches on the team. Uh, Gavin Hickey, James Willicks, the best mentors that I could ask for. Uh, and they always have an eye towards being better men, being better midshipmen, being the best officers we can be. So it makes it really easy to come in, uh, be bought in every day and not just get lost in the rugby. Because obviously we're graduating and we're going on to do other things. So this isn't our entire life. It's a huge uh, stepping stone to develop as uh, men, women and officers. So having people that can remind you of that every day. It's been awesome. I'll let you out on this. The 2023 team reaches its goals if. Hmm. I think if we just, if we remember who we are and we don't get caught up in the noise, you know, there's obviously uh, having uh, the success that we did last year, being a varsity program, being included in all these things. It's awesome. Uh, but it can be distracting. So I think remembering to play rugby the way that we've played rugby um, and bringing on board new stuff, new skills. Uh, I'd say we're a more skilled team than we have been. So being able to work that in with our core values and uh, kind of the hard-nosed uh, set piece and defense heavy rugby that we've always played, a lot of effort, a lot of tempo, uh, bringing that in and just making sure that we, uh, in a way, kind of keep the blinders on and every week, it's a new game. We'll be good. Jack, appreciate the time. Best of luck uh, this week, and uh, certainly best of luck to you and your teammates in the 2023 season. Thanks for the time today. Thanks for having me, Pete.